Hi everyone and thank you for joining to our second video. In our second video we are going to uh, extend the Active Directory schema, create a driving license attribute, assign it to the user, update the AD Connect, add it into inbound and outbound rules, make sure it gets synced to intro ID and after that we will add this uh, new attribute or custom attribute to our CSV file from HR as well as add it to our API provisioning. Then later I will show you how to update the UPN and mail attribute inside a intro ID. So instead of the default one, uh, we will do a customized one. As well, so to follow the our organization standard. So let's start it. So in this video, we are going to extend the schema and follow the process. First, look at the user properties and check the attribute. There is no driving license attribute in here, and we are going to add driving license. You need to be a member of the schema admin, then you can uh, update the schema. First of all, we need to register the schema DLM. For this command, I will share all of the commands in the description below. And let's add the schema management console. So attribute. Uh, first of all, we need to find the unique ID in our uh, Active Directory. So it's better to open employee ID, for example, one of the attributes, and copy the x500 oid so let's use that in this script this script will provide us unique oid number inside the uh, for uh, our new attributes all of the attributes must have unique number oid number so i will share this uh, powershell script as well copy it and we are going to create a new attribute. Be careful, this is a one way. You, after you creating this, you cannot delete the attribute. So driving license, here's our unique number. And in the target, it's better to use a string, Unicode string. It's a general, so we can add any attribute that we need. After creating this, as you can see, it's, it's been created. Make sure it we selected replication to the global catalogs. And then we'll go to the user object, the or user class and add this attribute to user class. After adding this, it may take a couple of minutes for AD to update this attribute and replicate it to rest of the domain controllers. And I will pause the video and I will back. So to check it, we can go and check the admin center. Usually admin center gets update a bit faster than rest. property of the user and this is a driving license attribute 
So driving license has been added to our Active Directory scheme. So next step, we need to push this to our AD Connect service as well as Intra ID. So we need to update the rules. We need to update the AD Connect schema. To do this, uh, we need to open the AD Connect and update the and click on refresh directory schema. So this is going to read the Active Directory schema again. My global admin account, password, credential. Selected domain. This is the only domain that we have currently. And done. So after that, after this finish, it's going to run the full sync. So there is one more step uh, we need to add driving license attribute to a list of the attributes that we want to sync. We sync it is in process, so we have to wait. All right, let's try again. Can't we? and sync options we need to customize the sync option again type my global admin credential so select our domain or you make sure uh, our OUs are selected no need to edit any of these attributes And now we need to find the driving license. Oh, there are too many attributes. So this is a group right back. We will back to this feature in another video. So right now we need to update our AD Connect rules. To update our, our AD Connect, we are going to clone one of the uh, rules out of the box rules and edit that. We should not edit any other any rules default rules in AD Connect. So. I did that. I cloned this rule, rule common, clone this, <clears throat> and then disable the uh, default one. So I'm going to edit this one. This is our company, it's a custom one. Go to transformations, and in here, I'm going to add driving license. Actually, it is extension. Is uh, we cannot, we don't have driving license in here. <coughs> it is extension. Uh, oh, just I see. Yep, it's here. Extension driving license. This is a target attribute. So for source attribute, and select the driving license. Save. And this is in from Active Directory. So 
we need to update our connector to uh, actually our current AD intra ID connector as well. So again, user directory extension, clone it, and then with the new one, we can edit the new one. Our source uh, will be extension driving license. And target attribute, again, it will be extension random number. And driving license. So we need to run a, another full sync after updating the AD connect rule. Because our environment is a small environment, I didn't need to put the AD sync cycle on hold. But if you have a large organization, your AD connect is active, you need to put it on hold. And then after updating all of these, you need to Resume, resume it again. So <clears throat> all done. Let's let's update attribute editor driving license. Add something to it. Just to date date. Let's use it for type driving license number. Same with second user. Oh. And we need to sync these attributes to intro ID. Uh, we cannot find a these uh, extension, these custom attributes in the console, we need to run the uh, graph API. After <clears throat> sync finish, the new full sync finish, through the graph API, we can send a query against this user, one of the users that we updated the driving license. And as you can see, driving license has been synced from on-prem to intra-ID as well. So I'm going to delete the driving license, and update the RCSV file and the APIs and rest of the needs to publish it through the CSV file and HR systems. Clear licensing, driving license for both users. So let's go to our CSV file. All right, in our CSV file, I add, I added driving license and the today date as well as the first name of the uh, the first name or last name of the users. It will be their driving license <coughs> number. So after that, we need to update our attribute mapping as well. So I did this. Look, the scheme that I use, it is the one that I, it's a customer as well. So I use the, my company name. So as you can see, it is very similar to the top one to the scheme that is from the Microsoft. Just the only things that I change, it is instead of enterprise, I put my company name and version one and then Below that, I put the driving license equal driving license. Make sure dictation are correct, exactly same. And then yep, check the dictation. And then we need to update this uh, PowerShell CSV scheme PowerShell as well. So 
as you can see it is very similar to the scheme on the top one scheme schema on the top one and just a company name copy the rest of the things from that and just uh, to make it simple just copy that edit that and the only attribute that i'm going to copy is just driving license and then in the in instead of enterprise user i use my company name so put the driving license type the string and description requirement no need for requirement it's not important it's not critical for our user creation and as i said everything it was a copy from the line above it so let's uh, test this and then just import the attribute again attribute mapping and as you can see driving license has been added so to see exactly what is inside it so driving license the value and the name is above it these are scheme scheme schemas so and then we check the csv file with our um, attributes validate that and it's back with true so looks like everything's correct on print so now we should go to our active directory intro id open our application Programming properties. <coughs> not, sorry, not properties. Provisioning. And uh, inside the provisioning, in provisioning and mapping. So we need to update here as well. To do this. As you can see, first, we need to update the API from the on-prem. This will take a few seconds. It's loading all of the attributes from on-prem ID. All right. This is all of the attributes that push from AD on prem to intro ID, but in here we need to add our new custom attribute which is driving license. Oops, sorry. To make sure it has used the correct dictation I will check it again all right try the license string and save it Oh, it takes a few seconds. Yeah, no need to close it. And update it. Then we need to edit the attribute list API. This is for the application. 
our API application. I'm going to expand more. So we need to open our file. Attribute mapping file okay, and copy it from here. Select this. and paste it in here and add driving license in front of it because we want driving license attribute and save this as well so one more steps remain we need to add new mapping I will explain about this more in the next video when we update the UPN mail I will explain this more as well so okay one thing that we need to do we need to close it and restart the provisioning And then back to provisioning and open it again. Add new mapping in here. Right now we can see the driving license. Okay, driving license. Target attribute is driving license on cream. Okay, let me find it. Sorry, pass it. Driving license, oh, good. And we want to always map it <coughs> and done. Since the driving license is there, the last line. So this finish, all oh, good. Wait a minute or two and then I would recommend to restart provisioning. And then back to our PowerShell command. If everything is correct, we run the PowerShell again. It will update a driving license. back and check this in the next video I'm going to show you the attributes and then how to customize the attribute inside the API provisioning application like UPN mail follow or company a standard you can do this for some account name as well there is a bit of troubleshooting I will show you that one as well in the next video and uh, yeah thank you for watching